next book is called The Full Moon at the Napping House, written by Audrey Wood and Don Wood. There is a house, a full moon house, where everyone is restless. And in that house, there is a bed, a wide awake bed, in a full moon house where everyone is restless. And in that bed, there is a granny, a sleepless granny, in a wide awake bed, in a full moon house where everyone is restless. And with that granny, there is a child, a fidgety child, with a sleepless granny, in a wide awake bed, in a full moon house where everyone is restless. And with that child, there's a dog, a playful dog with a fidgety child, with a sleepless granny, in a wide awake bed, in a full moon house where everyone is restless. And with that dog, there is a cat, a prowling cat with a playful dog, with a fidgety child, with a sleepless granny, in a wide awake bed, in a full moon house where everyone is restless. And with that cat, there is a mouse, a worried mouse, with a prowling cat, with a playful dog, with a fidgety child, with a sleepless granny, in a wide awake bed, in a full moon house where everyone is restless until a chirping cricket sings his song to the worried mouse and the prowling cat and the playful dog and the fidgety child and the sleepless granny in a wide awake house, in a wide awake bed, in a full moon house where everyone is restless. A full moon song that soothes the mouse, who calms the cat, who gentles the dog, who snuggles the boy, who hugs the granny in the dreamy bed, in the full moon house where no one is restless. The end. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our story, The Full Moon at the Napping House. Thank you for listening. Bye.